If you can't tell by the traffic or the construction, Southwest Florida is growing fast. We're preparing for that growth and we expect to be able to see it. A growth Fort Myers Fire Chief Trace McMillian is looking to serve by building Fire Station 18 along with a park and an art hub. One of the things that we know is that there's many layers to when we try to facilitate and mitigate uh, fire and emergency responses. Layers such as how fast they can get there to help you. It's an issue they're looking to solve in the southeast area. And so our number is that we want to have 18 people for a high risk fire, 18 people within 13 minutes. McMillian says at the center of the city, they can meet that threshold 80 to 90 percent of the time. But here with only this fire station, Station 15, we're only looking at roughly about 20, uh, 20 to 25 to 30 percent of the time, which is a daunting you know, uh, number there. That's not as good. As you can see in this area, Station 15 has to cover everyone that lives here. But if the new station is built right where I'm sitting, it'll go right about here, which will help Station 15 cover everyone that lives here. We need to look at the growth and we need to actually time our growth with our ability to actually provide emergency response. A response with the help of potentially Station 18. On Monday night, City Council will hear from the public, then decide if they want to spend close to $1 million on this land for the station. We're actually utilizing fire impact fees and overage that we've actually had through fire permits for construction. Meaning no money coming from taxpayers. Taxpayers living in areas exploding with growth. Growth McMillian says they want to get ahead of in the city of Fort Myers. By having our station strategically placed, we're able to actually increase our level of response, which makes our city safer, which makes you safer, as well as potentially may lower your insur insurance cost. Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.